Welcome in and hello from the NJCAA Network. I'm Zach McKinstry and today we have our first selection show of the spring on the NJCAA Network. It is beach volleyball on tap for you today. We unveil the nine teams that will be playing in Huntsville, Alabama at John Hunt Park from May the 2nd to the 4th. So a lot of formatting as we get to it today. Grab your pen and paper. There's a lot of things going on. It starts with day one in pool play. So three teams in each pool, three total pools will play. And as you can see the seating, one, six and seven represents pool A, two, five and eight represent pool B, and then three, four and nine represent pool C. So those teams will play each other on day one and then move into day two, which is what they call challenge pools. So depending on where they place in their first day, they will be placed in their challenge pool for day two. So once again, they will play each other and move us into day three, where the teams will be ranked based on their performance in the challenge pools. So the top six teams, the first and second place in each of those challenge pools will be seeded one to six, with those one and two seeds getting a bye to the semifinal, and the four and five and three and six having to play their way into that final four. And meanwhile, those bottom teams in the challenge pools will play in a consolation bracket at the bottom of the bracket. So that's how the tournament shakes out. Once again, it is from May 2nd to the 4th. And let's go ahead and unveil our seeds, starting with the number one overall seed in Pool A. It is Palm Beach State. The Lady Panthers claim their second Region 8 championship in a row by sweeping Lake Sumter State to clinch the automatic berth and earn the top spot. The winners of the inaugural championship last year swept all six of their opponents en route to the national title, and they look dangerous again as the number one seed. Second team in Pool 1 it will be Mesa CC. The T-Birds return to the national tournament after going 3-3 three and three in six games last year to take sixth place. Amaya Evans and Taylor Erickson have led the way as the top pairing this year, and they carry a 13-8 pairing record into Huntsville. Final team in the first pool is the seven seed. In our first at-large bid, it is FSC Jacksonville. In their first season, the Blue Wave will make it to the national championship tournament as an at-large bid. Led by head coach Chelsea Hink, FSC Jacksonville is the final team in our first pool. So let's move to pool number two, starting with the two seed. It is Lake Sumter State. The Lake Hawks are the number two overall seed and the top seed in this pool after a runner-up finish to Palm Beach State in Region 8. The number three pair of Jaden Ponsford and Braylon Mittower have received Region 8 Pair of the Week honors already this year, so look out for them and the Lake Hawks. Joining them in Pool 2 is the five seed. It is Sand Hills CC. The high flying flyers of Sand Hills punched their ticket by defeating a really tough Gaston College team 3 to 2 in the Region 10 semifinals. Top fair Deja Fields and Laney Mullins overcame a first set loss to rally back and secure the win. Final seed in our second pool is the eight seed, Trinidad State. The Trojans get the eight overall seed after claiming the Region 9 title with a 4 1 win over Central Wyoming. They'll have a tall task ahead of them with this pool, but excited to see how it plays out. Final three teams in the tournament, starting with the three seed, it is Richard Bland. Another back-to-back -back region championship was won by the Statesmen in Region 10, putting a close on a 20-11 and 11 season to earn the three seed. A talented team led by the Region 10 Pair of the Year, which includes, which includes Jordan Schlagetter and Sarah Heath, who just committed to play at NCAA Division I Moorhead State. The four seed up next in that pool three is State College of Florida. The final at-large team is the four seed SCF. The Manatees were one of the few teams to give Palm Beach State a good fight this year, taking the reigning national champs to a decisive fifth set in the region tournament. Final team in this bracket will be the nine seed Bryant and Stratton of Wisconsin. The Bobcats are the last team in this tournament and will make the long journey down to Alabama. Coach Curley talked in the preseason about preparing for this tournament and the difference in elements from the cold Wisconsin spring to the humid southeast in early May. So we'll see how the Bobcats fare as the nine seed and let's zoom out and give you a look at all nine teams 
and how they will be placed in the first three pools. So Palm Beach State, Mesa CC, and FSC Jacksonville in Pool A will be Lake Sumter State, Sand Hill CC, and Trinidad State. And then that final pool is Richard Bland, State College of Florida, and Bryant and Stratton of Wisconsin, again, from May 2nd to the 4th in Huntsville, Alabama. So congratulations to all those teams that got in. Thanks for waiting and watching here today. And we are excited to see how everything plays out down south in early May.